That two day, one day, same day shipping just comes right in handy. I'm kind of getting spoiled though with that. Like Amazon spoils us because now when you order elsewhere, you be like, dad, where is my package? It's only been two days, girl. It's only been three days. Give, give it some time. <laughs> hey, it's your girl Kita, and welcome to my channel, More Kita, where style is a not to find by your budget, honey. So today, please bear with me. This is a impromptu video. Um, as you can see, I'm just kind of relaxing and chilling, but I knew I had to get this video out. This video is going to be a smorgasbord <laughs> of a video featuring Amazon items that I recently purchased, as well as some that I purchased about a month ago. And honey, don't kill me. Some things that I purchased probably six plus months ago. I know, I, what is you doing, girl? <laughs> All right, so the first category we're gonna talk about is the beauty category. It's just a few things that I purchased. You know, I'm not the beauty guru whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just kind of breeze through those really quickly. But the first one is this portable mirror. It comes in a white case and it does have a cover that you can open fold over so you can stand up and it also has a warm and a cool light so you can choose from which one you like now i've owned this for probably about a year or so now and i love traveling with this because if you know not all lights in the hotel bathrooms are created equal and oh it's been plenty of times i have done makeup in a hotel bathroom thinking i was cute and then when i went outside mm. Mm -mm, I, mm -mm, I wasn't <laughs> so I like taking this with me my only thing I would suggest is just make sure you kind of fold it up inside your clothes because you know when you travel your suitcases get thrown and tossed every which way this way it doesn't break the next two items I picked up is from a brand called Mephron and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly so please excuse me but the reason I actually picked this up is because I have extremely extremely oily skin and this particular product is made for people who do theater like acting theater honey that is underneath all the lights to prevent their makeup from sweating off so i'm like oh if it's gonna work for them it should work for me so the first product underneath this brand that i picked up is the hydro prep pro and it does have hyaluronic serum inside this is supposed to hydrate your skin underneath your makeup and it does do that however if you are oily like me i don't recommend this because it provides a really nice glow but if you're already oily honey the glow and the glow together just it just doesn't equal okay <laughs> so i do like using this on the days that i don't use any makeup at all and it just provides again that nice glow so i like it but not for under the makeup and the second product i picked up from this particular brand is called the touch up anti shine now this product does take away the shine you're, you're you put it on and then you put your makeup on the only thing is it is not compatible with all foundations so i have a couple different foundations because none of them really match my shade correctly so i do sometimes mix them and with one it will work fine with another foundation it will start to get gummy and almost like peel a little bit so that's the only thing about it that i don't like it's not compatible with all foundations all right so the last thing in the beauty category that i picked up is this white truffle serum spray and if i'll try to put a, a, a footage up for you but as you can see that i hardly have any left of this particular product and i really do like this now there are people that use this with their makeup just to kind of refresh it give it a little bit of a glow try that doesn't work makes me look even oilier than what I am already normally am. <laughs> so, but I do use this when I don't wear makeup, just as a refresher. Um, when I start feeling like my skin is getting a little dull looking, I'll just kind of spritz that and I feel glowy like I was on somebody's island or something. But I really do like this product as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the fashion category. And we're gonna start with what I am wearing right now, honey, because I have been obsessed probably already seen my YouTube short or, or Instagram reel, one of them, I don't know. But it is this two-piece Amazon set. Now, I saw this on TikTok and they were stating that this is a dupe for a Free People's version. Never saw the Free People's version, so I can't really say if it's a dupe or not. However, I didn't care, I loved it. I want it because you already know my favorite thing to wear is sundresses. My second favorite thing is lounge wear. So, 
it was a no-brainer I was going to get it and plus it just looks very high-end and uh, high quality so when it comes to the particular top the top is a knit material with a mock neckline it does have the shorter sleeves and a front pocket um, here on the side the only thing about the pocket that I'm not a huge fan of is it, it is a little droopy like it's a little it's a little droopy <laughs> and I wish it wasn't but other than that nonetheless I love it the pants have an elastic waistband and they're also a knit material that's super comfortable and I just love the detailing here at the bottom of the leg and like the pleated design in the front. It comes in so many different colors. I actually bought two um, colors, the khaki as well as the white. And when I originally saw it, I saw people wear it with the khaki top and the white bottoms. I just assumed that they purchased, you know, two different sets, but you can actually get it with the the you know two different colors so that's an option for you as well it comes in a size of extra small to 2x i got a large um i don't think i would size down i think the large just fits perfect it's nice it's comfortable it's not you know constricting or too form-fitting anything of that nature so this right here this was a winner i also picked up a few other fashion pieces i'll try to squeeze them in really quickly because i have a lot in like the home category so let's get through this um i always talk about my slide on sneakers that i have i my other ones i got from dsw and those are more of a leather uh, material these particular ones that i got from amazon are a canvas material and a whole lot cheaper um, alternative to the Dr. Scholl's. I got these specifically for the summer because as much as I love my slide on sneakers, I didn't want that leather. It's already hot during the summer. I wanted something that wasn't as hot. So I purchased these. I also love when I can find a really good flash deal on Amazon. And sometimes the flash deals are okay. Sometimes they're just a couple dollars and it's not worth it. But a lot of times when they drop that price, it is a great deal. So I did find a couple things on their flash sale. And the first one was this um, two piece short set. And I already own these in like the neutral colors. You've seen them before, but I wanted to pick up the blue and the green just for a pop of color. Plus they were 16 and $17 for the flash deal and normally they're like $34 for the set so I could not beat that. Also I got this three pack of tank tops. I think for the pack of three at the time it was like $11.99. Great for the summer, also great for a layering piece in the fall in the winter. And then the last flash deal that I caught was these two basic dresses. They do come in a pack of two. I think the pack of two was $16 the time of course different now look at me staying on topic honey i haven't drifted yet <laughs> i'm doing good so let's go ahead and talk about the next few pieces and these fit more into the home category so as i mentioned previously in another video that we have uh temporary bleh, temporarily relocated. Uh, we'll be here for probably about a year or so. We still have our other place. So I needed some items for here. So I did go ahead and pick up just a few things. And of course, Amazon was right on time, honey. That two day, one day, same day shipping just comes right in handy. I'm kind of getting spoiled though with that. Like Amazon spoils us because now when you order elsewhere, you be like, dad, where is my package? It's only been two days, girls. Only been three days. Give, give it some time. <laughs> Just give it some time, okay? <laughs> Also, let me know if you are interested in seeing some home content from me. Um, I've never really brought that to my channel. There were two things that were maybe probably home related that I brought to the channel in the past. One was a Christmas decorating with me because I am obsessed with glassware and Christmas trees. So I did a Christmas decorating with me. And then prior to me selling that house that was in the video, we built a cement fireplace entertainment wall and um i always said if i was able to start my career over again i would either go into like construction slash contracting i would do either furniture making or architecture because i really love design and i love building things with my hands so i would go into something like that i probably you know not that i can't change my career honey but i'm not no spring chicken no more but anywho let me know if you are interested in seeing some home content from me leave it down in the description box not the description box kita that's not where you leave stuff. <laughs> leave, leave it in the comment box. But the next piece I want to show you, the next item, was heavily influenced by TikTok Girl. And it's this electric shower brush. Now, I'm old school when it comes to cleaning. I am no stranger 
to getting on my hands and my knees, cleaning some baseboards or anything like that. I mean, even when I was a single mom and my daughter was younger, I was struggling. I used to hold down two, three jobs at a time. And one of those jobs was cleaning other people's houses. So again, no stranger to getting my hands dirty and actually cleaning. However, these knees and this back says otherwise. <laughs> Now this comes with eight different brush heads and you heard me right, I said eight different brush heads. To me, a little overkill, but again, I'm old school. I'm pretty sure somebody is getting some use out of all these eight brush heads. Not sure if I'm gonna use all eight, but it comes with it, so what can I say? It could be used as a handheld device or you can attach the retractable handle to reach those higher areas. It has a low noise design. It has a rechargeable battery that can run for 90 minutes straight. There's a variable speeds that you can choose from. And it also comes with a voice prompt. So depending on what speed or setting that you use, there's a voice that comes on and tells you. Again, overkill, I don't really need it, but somebody might like it. I do love the brush, the, the electric brush altogether. It definitely helps cut down the time with cleaning there are some items that i got that aren't really jaw dropping but i'm just going to talk about it one is it's this little tray i found it on the flash deal so it was like five dollars i couldn't pass it up and it matched a little bit of the theme in one of my bathrooms you're probably going to laugh at me with this one but this has to be my favorite purchase <laughs> this far since moving here and it's this little soap holder now i am a body wash girl and bay is a soap guy and i cannot stand looking at soap when it gets all you know gummy and, and it you know it just looks crazy in the soap dish it's not my favorite thing to look at so i wanted something that would conceal that and still kind of match with the decor so i found these they come in a pack of two i thought they were just so genius it does come with the adhesive that goes on the shower and we have taken showers after showers after showers and this thing has not fallen so it definitely holds i also like the fact that it has a little dumb door that you open slide the soap in and at the bottom there's a little drawer that collects all like the water and all that stuff so it conceals it it hides it again this was probably my favorite purchase i love things that are just simple but functional and still look good and this little soap thing check those boxes also for the bathroom i did pick up some dispensers and i bought two sets of these black dispensers now these are pre-labeled it comes with the word body wash shampoo and conditioner on them i wanted it because in both of the bathrooms we have like this inset like inside of the wall and i just didn't want just anything sitting there i still wanted it to look cohesive and these are plastic i was bummed at first i'm like oh i thought these were glass but i'm happy they're not because can you imagine taking a shower and dropping one of these things honey just cutting up everything on your foot so i'm happy that they are plastic and once you do fill them with your product they actually have really nice weight to it and it doesn't feel plastically <laughs> Plastic E. <laughs> it don't feel like plastic, okay? <laughs> it doesn't feel like plastic. I also bought some other soap dispensers for my bathroom. It has like a stone, it's a faux stone because I have some other stone pieces and pots in that bathroom. So I thought this would look really nice and it does have the black spigot spout i don't suggest this particular one or wouldn't recommend it because when you do push the soap down to get the soap it squirts everywhere so i would not recommend these but the black ones i actually really do like and then the next thing that's the last thing that's kind of related to bathrooms slash kitchens are these copper inspired glass bottles honey and i think amazon is probably thinking i am reselling these things because i have bought them multiple times i bought myself sets i bought my sister my sister-in-law and my mother <laughs> and they probably like you just keep coming back buying these because i bought them all at different times i'm trying to speed through this so this video won't be too long for you because it's already not not that you're watching this at night you're probably watching it the next day but <laughs> it's I'm trying to speed through this. So the next couple items are more towards like the, the living area, living room, things of that nature. And then I did purchase these footstools. They're cream with like the black legs and I got them 
for it to sit underneath the entryway table. So when it's time to leave and I need to sit down, put on shoes, whatever, whatever, or if I'm just sitting there doing something at the entryway table, I have somewhere to sit. Plus for additional seating in this area, if I do have a group of people over and all the seats are taken up, or even if somebody just wants to prop their feet up and they're not sitting on the couch, then those are there. I get such a high looking at higher end stores and then finding a quality dupe not a cheap dupe, but a quality affordable dupe um, that looks just as well, just as good without spending all that money. I get excited about that. And that's how I feel about these particular uh, footrests as well as some chairs I'm gonna show you in a minute. So speaking of the chairs, you may already see my YouTube short or my Instagram reel when I featured these. And these are these linen inspired bar stools or kitchen island stools however you want to call them now they do come in various heights so depending on the height of your counter you can actually find ones that fit and it also comes in color comp different color combinations i've had multiple people sit in there again various heights people that were short people that was tall and various sizes and everybody got in there and sat comfortably and plus they look so nice now these were more of a higher end purchase it costs a little bit more however the ones that i saw on west m not didn't even touch the price honey not even half of it so it was still an affordable find for me and i really really love these all right so let's talk about my obsessions <laughs> and i got a lot of them but i mentioned before outside of you know like building things and things of that nature i love glassware and I love Christmas trees. I picked up these mid-century inspired glasses from Amazon and they do come in a set of four. These are a shorter version and they also feature glass straws. And I also picked up these two taller glasses that have glass lids and also glass straws. Just give me some glassware, maybe a bottle of wine, some loungewear. I'm good to go. I'm not hard to shop for. I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm A1 when I have all those. So also something about me, I like stuff to be organized. Um, yeah, there are times that you're rushing and things get a little junky, but I like things organized. I cannot function. <laughs> I feel like I can't think straight. I need my closet to be in order. So to maximize this closet space here, I did buy some things to help organize. Now I had already purchased two drawers. There are three drawers to go in the closet. I got those from Ikea and I just wanted that for some added space. But because of that, it did take away, you know, from the bottom hanging space and I was just left with one section. So I did go ahead and buy this hanging bar. And what it does, it gives me just another layer underneath to add and hang some additional items. Also picked up these acrylic dividers to help keep things neat and also these shoe containers. Now I was a little nervous about these shoe containers cause it took me, the first one took forever to put together and it's really not that hard. I don't know what was wrong with me that day but it took me forever to put those together. And they did feel a little flimsy when I was first trying to assemble it. But by the time you put the front and the back on, it's very sturdy. I love the fact that you can actually stack these as well. So I had measured the top of my closet to see how many I needed. Um, I haven't put all of them up just yet, but I'll kind of show you some footage of the ones that I currently have. Now I got just the regular large box. They do come in extra large. My shoes definitely fit in it. Um, my boots, of course, like my tall boots don't fit in there. And when it comes to my heels, Heels. I do have to lay them down to slide them in. It doesn't bother me. They don't have to stand up. But if you are looking for boxes where you can stand your heels up, I would suggest maybe the extra large boxes. But again, I just got the large. These work fine. So hope you enjoyed this video featuring these Amazon items. If you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Pat on the back for me, honey, because I stayed on track. I did not ramble. <laughs> Well, a little bit, but I didn't go too far off the reel, so I'm proud of that. Um, be sure to check out the description box down below. I will leave a link to all the Amazon items that I feature in this video. And then also don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know if you are interested in seeing more home content from me because, yeah, I'm kind of excited to do that. I just never did it really in the past, but I would love to do that. Um, when it comes to me, style does not stop just at fashion. Style is how you talk how you walk, 
how you carry yourself, how you decorate, how you organize, all of that is style is an extension of yourself. And just as frugal as I am when it comes to styling my outfits and purchasing clothes, I'm frugal when it comes to home design as well. I'd love to be able to show um, some deals that I find, so let me know. But if you do want to see more fashion as well as more lifestyle content, and of course, more key to honey, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, and I will catch you guys in the next one.